Hello everyone, my name is Anya, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Moores murders. There's a particular reason why I chose this day to talk about this case. It's not the date it started, and it's not the date it ended, but you'll understand why I chose this date by the end of this video. So let's take a look at one of the most infamous murder cases in the history of the United Kingdom. The Moores Murders. The Moore's Murders is considered by many to be one of the most infamous murder cases in the history of the United Kingdom. Between the years 1963 and 1965, Ian Brady and Myra Hindley abducted, raped and murdered five children before burying their bodies on Saddleworth Moors. Ian Brady was a man who had a deep fascination for Nazism, violence and pornography. Myra Hindley was his devoted partner. She shared his fascination for violence and murder. It wasn't long before the two began searching for their perfect murder victim. On the night of the 12th of July, 1963, Brady and Hindley abducted their first victim, 16-year-old Pauline Reed. They took her to Saddleworth Moors, where she was raped, strangled and stabbed by Brady before her body was buried on the moors. Just a few months later, on the 12th of November 1963, they abducted 12-year-old John Kilbride. He was also brought to the moors, where he was sexually assaulted and strangled to death. Chillingly, Ian Brady and Myra Hindley would return to the moors on several occasions, where they would pose for photographs above the graves of their victims. On the 16th of June 1964, Brady and Hindley abducted 12-year-old Keith Bennett, who was walking to his grandparents' house. Like Pauline Reed and John Kilbride, Keith was brought to Saddleworth Moors, where he was sexually assaulted and strangled to death. It was at this point that Brady and Hindley decided to take things to a new level. On the 26th of December 1964, they abducted their fourth victim, 10-year-old Leslie Ann Downey, and that is where their sick fascinations escalated. They forced 10-year-old Leslie Ann Downey to pose naked for photographs. She was raped and strangled to death. Chillingly, Ian Brady and Myra Hindley recorded the session where Leslie Ann Downey was tortured. Those who listened to the recordings could hear the young girl screaming for mercy, crying for her mother and begging to go home. Like the three victims before her, Leslie Ann Downey's body was buried on the moors. It was the murder of their fifth and last victim, 17-year-old Edward Evans, that brought their crimes to public. On the 6th of October 1965, Brady and Hindley lured Edward Evans to their apartment where he was beaten to death with an axe. But they made the mistake of including a witness, Hindley's brother-in-law, David Smith. Smith managed to flee the apartment where he called the police. Police arrived at the house and discovered Edward Evans' body as well as the axe that was used to murder him. A deeper investigation into the house showed photographs and items belonging to the people that they had murdered and it was at this point the police realised that Ian Brady and Myra Hindley could be involved in the disappearances of other children. A search of Saddleworth Moors uncovered the bodies of 12-year-old John Kilbride and 10-year-old Leslie Ann Downey. Ian Brady and Myra Hindley were both arrested and charged with murder. Despite trying to pin the blame on Hindley's brother-in-law, in 1966 both were found guilty on three counts of murder. Luckily for them, the death penalty had been abolished in the United Kingdom. So the two were sentenced to life imprisonment with no possibility of parole. It was not until 1985 that Ian Brady confessed to the murders of 16-year-old Pauline Reed and 12-year-old Keith Bennett. Pauline Reed's body was finally discovered in 1986. Myra Hindley died in prison in 2002 at the age of 60. Ian Brady died in 2017 at the age of 79. It has been 60 years since the abduction and murder of 12-year-old Keith Bennett, and to this day, his is the only body that has still not been recovered from the moors. 
Keith's mother, Winnie Johnson, passed away in 2012 without being able to fulfill her final wish to give her son a Christian burial. To the day she died, she never gave up hope that her son would one day be found. Despite multiple searches on the moors, the body of Keith Bennett has still not been recovered. We can only hope that this young boy's body will one day be finally recovered and brought home to his family. And this final chapter will be closed on one of the most infamous murder cases to ever take place in the history of the United Kingdom. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. My name is Anya and we just looked at what happened on this day.